Hello guys, this is MX and TXS and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back with another player review. This time is going to be a double review on Henrik Larsson and on Jordan Larsson. We have a duo review of the father and son. We're going to see how they both perform up front. Hopefully they're both a good duo. And yeah, before we do hop into the video, boys, do make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. Starting off with Henrik Larsson, 3 star, 4 star, I don't actually mind that. 90 pace, 88 shooting, 85 dribbling, 75 physicality. The pace looks amazing. The shooting stats as well look very, very good. The attack positioning is what I like to see. Finishing 93, beautiful, beautiful scenes right there. Dribbling as well, to be honest, looks pretty good. It's not, usually players are really low on balance and agility when I review strikers, but thankfully this one is not. 89. Stamina as well, we love to see that. Jumping 94, heading accuracy 97, we could have a repeat of Erasmus Hoyland. 67 strength though, now that is an issue. He might get bodied a lot, which I don't want to see. But except for that, it looks pretty good. Onto the playstyles, he has three. Finesse shot, chip shot, which no one cares about. First touch plus as well, so hopefully he actually has good touches and like Erasmus Hoyland. Now onto Jordan Larson, his son. Four star, three star. I don't mind that as well, except I would prefer the weak foot to be a bit higher, but we take it. Can play right wing as well, and striker, which is good. 90 pace, 81 shooting, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, 78 physicality. The pace, no complaints at all with that. The shooting as well, to be honest, it looks solid for a 10k card. The passing as well, solid. Dribbling as well, no problem with that as well, to be honest. Reactions and composure, of course, a bit too low but not a big issue 87 jumping 85 ac heading accuracy as well just solid 85 stamina as well is good strength is higher than his father surprisingly but you know what i'm not gonna complain with that taking a look at his playstyles the finesse shot power shot pinged pass rapid flare and a first touch playstyle so he has more playstyles than his father which is interesting to see but to be honest, for a 10k card, that doesn't look too bad at all. This is the team that we'll be using him in. Hopefully, we see a good performance from the team. Harry Maguire, the fridge, of course, in defense, as always. He is actually really good in defense, boys. I actually like him. I prefer him over Cordoba, which is insane. But anyways, we're going to hop into the first match and see how both of them perform. Boys, I don't know what this guy is doing. I thought he was going to give me a free win because he does have a full bronze team. But I guess not, maybe. I don't know what he's doing, but we do get an easy goal right there. I don't know if I'm going to count that as it he has a full bronze team but he is playing so you know what can't really say anything else except for that jordan larson he's through and scores yeah two easy goals for both of them you know what i'm gonna take it i don't know what the guy was trying to achieve with a full bronze team right there um i mean it is what it is boys both of them got themselves a goal each uh on to the second match all right we do get a penalty for Jordan Larson as he did get fouled in the box. We are going to take it to the right side and he finishes it beautifully. Alright, Jordan Larson, can we get a goal going or something? It's been a pretty quiet game. Oh, that was so nice. Of course, we don't get a goal there because that's just my luck. But if he did it, he would get an instant rebound goal. Okay, that was pretty nice from Larson. Oh, okay, he's done him. But we can't do anything else except for that. Ooh, okay, that's nice. Passes it nicely to Ganacho. Who's gonna cross that into Larson? Who scores beautifully? Okay, Larson. He's through. Can we score? Oh my fucking god. So, boys, we get absolutely battered. It is what it is. Uh, Larson's. Both of them actually scored a goal. Both of them were kind of stinky, I'm not going to lie, boys. Uh, Larson, of course, can be good on headers. Uh, Jordan Larson scored himself a penalty, so yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. But th you know what? They're not too expensive, so you can't really expect too much from them. On to the final match. All right, Henrik Larson. Oh, my Lord. He feels fucking heavy, boys. Oh, to Henrik Larson. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, boys, he's ass. I'm not going to lie. Henrik Larson is actually really bad. Right, Henrik Larson. Ooh, he's through, surely. There you go. There's his goal. Uh, still don't like him too much. I'm not going to have boys, but that was a good finish. Henrik Larson. Please. He's through. 
And he finishes it nicely. Okay, he finally gets himself a goal. And the final match is finally over, boys. Larson with two goals and Jordan Larson with nothing happening for him on to the final stats. All right, Henrik Larson. Three games, four goals, two in the last and one in both of the others. He did his job as a striker. He did his job. I didn't like him though. 58,000 coins though is not that bad for this type of card, I'd say. Uh, personally, not for me. He felt really, really, really heavy and slow. 90 pace is a joke. I don't know how the hell he's 90 paced when he moves like that. That was a fake stat right there. Shooting, really good. I won't lie. Shooting is pretty good. Dribbling, it's not that good. Also fake. Uh, jumping and heading accuracy is real. Uh, Playstyles, uh, didn't notice any of them. Um, out of 10, I'm probably going to give him a solid 5 out of 10. He wasn't great. But for 58,000 coins, what do you expect? And now on to Jordan Larson. Two goals in three games. For 10,000 coins, he's actually not bad. So if you desperately need a striker or a right winger, uh, he's actually not a bad option to have for the time being. He does feel pretty fast. Shooting is not horrible as well. The dribbling is pretty good on this card as well. Has better playstyles than his father as well, which is good to see. So I didn't have too many problems with him. He didn't make too many runs though, but... Other than that, I'd give him like a, just simply just because he's 10,000 coins. I will give him a 6 out of 10 because he wasn't that bad. He was definitely better than his father, though he didn't get that many goals. Dribbling wise, he felt more fun to use in game because of that. Henrik Larsson just didn't make that many runs. His runs were really stupid. He was running into players and just clustering himself with the defenders, which was fucking stupid. Jordan Larson was that, not that bad compared to his father, except his father is a striker, so of course he scored more goals. So for me, Jordan Larson is the better option just because he is 10,000 coins. So if you want to see more of like father and son, brother and sister or brothers, anything like that, do let me know in the comments down below and by liking and subscribing. So it's been MX and TXS. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.